the perfect pavlova. Dozen eggs, separate the white to the yolk and make sure that they're fridge eggs so they're nice and cold. And a cup and a half of caster sugar, literally a cup. You don't need to be particular about, oh, it's got to be spot on, whatever measurement. Cup and a half of caster sugar, not two. Two cups would be too sweet. One cup, not sweet enough. One and a half cup is perfect. You need to blend it and mix. I can't hold the camera and do all this at the same time, so can I tell you? I'm going to be mixing and adding the caster sugar a little bit at a time like that until the cup's empty, another half a cup until she's all the way in there at the lowest speed possible. And then I'm going to speed it up to the maximum speed and go for about 10 minutes until it looks nice, thick and glossy. All right, so that's a half a cup, thereabouts. Should be right. Don't overthink it, it's just pavlova. You can make it just egg white and sugar if you wanted to. A tablespoon and a half of corn flour, so about that much. So a tablespoon and a half, yeah, thereabouts, of vanilla extract. Two tablespoons of white vinegar. And now, after you've done that, you've mixed it all in on low speed. Just put it on high, maximum. And keep going till it's a nice, thick foam, glossy look to it. And should be right to uh, put on the pan then and put it in the oven. Using this mixer, it's taken me about 25 minutes. Normally it takes about 10 to 15. This is about as far as I got, and this is how I judge it. You, know, you mix like this, and if you get a wall in here standing up, you know she's right to go on the plate and lay it down. I forgot to mention to add a pinch of salt, so don't forget to add a pinch of salt. Just uh, literally a pinch. Ever seen a more sexier pavlova than that? It's going to serve like, I don't know, 12 people, I hope. And the beauty part is, your kids can clean the mess. <laughs> the pre hit your oven to 120. And the whole time I've been making the pavlova, the oven's been on to make sure that it's nice and hot when I'm ready to put it in. In she goes. And you can see I've cut the paper around it, but in she goes. And uh, now I've got to wait two hours. Right, so it's been an hour and, been an hour and 50 minutes. And it's looking really sexy in there. So I just have to wait another two hours now before I can take it out. And you've got the wooden spoon to keep the door ajar a little bit, not too much. So the hot air can get out slowly and prevent that from collapsing. And there you go, a couple of hours later, she's all cooled down. Beautiful, the Aussie build Pavlova.